so when you arrived in Congo, um, I, I, I imagine that this ended up being a much different film than what you set out to make at the beginning. Was was there a particular moment or or day or or experience where you realized I'm not I'm no longer making this film. I'm making this film. I was drawn to the Virunga National Park because of its sort of transformative potential. I mean, this this was in early 2012. It was pushing forward these really ambitious development projects, hydropower schemes, tourism. Had, had restarted, and this is this is a region which has had 20 years of warfare. So, I was really inspired by that that positive story. And then <clears throat> on the ground, when I got there, I stayed because of the the bravery or, and integrity of these rangers who you know every day get up to risk their lives. Um, you know, and 140 of them have died in, in the line of duty in the last 15 years. Um, and they get up every day and, and do that because they know the potential this place has to, to transform the region for the better and bring sustainable development and, and stability and, and long-lasting peace. Um, so I set out to make that film and tell that story. And I'd only been on the ground about a month when this new civil war started. And around that same period, I learned about the park's very serious concerns about illegal oil exploration by, by SOCO International. So. So the, the film took a radical U-turn really, really quickly. So, so you mentioned Soko. How, how, how long into the process were they aware that this was the film that you guys were making? Or, or, or did, you, uh, did you sort of give them their, your, your, your final project and, and say, if you want to respond to this, you know, here's, here's what you'll be responding to? Very much the latter. Um, and, the, and again, that was mostly because of security. We, you know, we didn't feel that going to them early on and saying, "Hey, we're investigating you," was a was a wise or safe thing to do. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you know, they got their right of reply, which you see in the film, um, and we would have expected actually that they were. I mean, you know, the, the overall accusations that we're really making about them as a corporation is that there's a real lack of oversight to what they do, and that you know, it's allowing certain things to happen under their watch and so on that basis we expected when we went to them with the film and the footage that they would respond with shock and horror and 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 and, and in some ways actually you know deal with the issues head on in fact that's not what's happened they've responded in incredibly negatively um, and not only to us but to you know various reviewers and journalists with lawyers letters and you know this kind of just flat denial that anything is anything to do with them which we we find abhorrent